Welcome back to Buzz Your Girlfriend Woof! Holy crap! Alright, hey, uh, big news. Um, I've been told recently that Let's Plays, they're, they're kind of outdone. They're kind of old. Um, old news, as they say, uh, not fire or whatever the kids are saying these days. So, we are going to pivot the channel. I'll probably upload the video today, but I'm probably going to stop uploading Let's Plays in the future. It's going to be nothing but makeup tutorials from now on. Yes, that's right. We are debuting Let's Fabulous on Today of All Days. Um, so let's just get into it. All right, so first thing, the glasses got to go. Next thing, you got to uh, gotta get all this hair, all this hair out of the way. Rough business. Nothing ruins. Nothing ruins your makeup application like a lot of hair in your face. This is going to be tricky, uh, but uh, first time I've ever tried to do this setup. Um, I don't know how it's going to turn out. We'll we'll see if um, if it doesn't work out so great. We'll uh, we'll adapt. That's what we do here. All right. So for starters, you see these these uh, pivots on my nose. Ooh. Ugly, ugly. Got to do something about that. I'm going to use a stipple brush. This is a BS Mall flat face angled brush. You can pick these pretty much up anywhere. The nice thing about these is get they got the long hair and the short hair. So what I'm going to do with this is I am going to use a, a poreless putty primer. This is by Elf. That's uh, a bad Will Smith movie. Uh, so we're going to, and this is like a, this is like a paste. You can see it's bleh. But what we'll do is we will dab some of this in it like that. All right, so you can see. Oh, oh. All right. So I'm gonna take that, and I'm going to just stipple it into my nose. Now, will this fill the pores? Uh, no, I've never had success with it, but I'm told that it does. So. We'll see what happens. This is uh, this is gonna be a little awkward because I'm looking at the camera through the mirror and it's a little disjointing, but I think I think it'll work. We'll find out. Alright, so as you can see I'm just I'm just kind of tapping, I'm stippling as they say. If, uh, if you've ever taken an art course, you know what I'm talking about. Or you just kind of dab, 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 like that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's starting to, I guess it's starting to kind of fill those, those pores. But, uh, we'll do this a, a few more times. Desiredly, you'd want something like that. Uh, uh, sort of they say, I can't see shit, I ain't got my glasses on. I'm gonna assume it looks good. I'm probably just gonna rub it a little bit by hand. That's right, I use my fingers. I use my fingers. This is a big no-no for some people, but I do it. There we go. Oh, it looks fabulous. Oh, it looks so good, yeah. All right, you see all this five o'clock shadow? Blech. You don't want that. That's that's no good. That's no good. You can't have that. So I'm going to use uh, a camo color corrector. This is by Elf as well. Uh, once again, bad Will Smith movie. So or Will Smith, Will Ferrell. <laughs> so bad Will Ferrell movie. And this kind of comes like this. You get like a little applicator there. Uh, this stuff kind of goes on a, like a paste now, unfortunately. I need a lot of this stuff because I have extremely thick facial hair. Extremely thick facial hair, folks. It's sad. It's oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, looking, looking so orange. Looking so orange. 
All right, so this area here has got to get it, and this area here has got to get it. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm going to look so good with my orange. I'm not going to masquerade as, a, as the great pumpkin or something. But what this is, is this color corrects. It's going to, oh, kind of offset the shade of the uh, 5 o'clock shadow. At least they say it will. I, I don't think it really does. But uh, I'm told such things, and, uh, you know, you should probably trust, trust them a little bit. Now, I also have a little bit of gray in here, so I'm going to probably touch it up there as well. Ooh, look at that. I look horrible. Absolutely horrible. I also have another color corrector. Now, this is a lot lighter. This is more of a tan color corrector, which seems silly on its face, I'll, I'll admit. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try to use this on these ugly bags under my eye. And with any hope, they will slightly offset the color, and you'll be able to see them anyways. At least that's my experience, but hey, I'm not the professional. I'm just an asshole who applies makeup on camera on the internet. Don't forget to smash that like button, by the way, folks. Like and subscribe and uh, all that stuff, too. All right, so now we're going to take our uh, spongy thing. Looks like a teardrop, but it's a uh, spongy. I don't know what brand this is. I think it was made in China. What we'll do is we'll use this to smear this stuff. Yeah, get it all in there. That's what you do, you... Yeah, flatten it out a bit so it kind of contours into the skin a bit, if you will. Get stuff under the eyes. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, it looks atrocious. But once we start blending it all in with a spongy ball, it'll start to sort of blend. Oh, look at that. Now I look. Now I, now, there we go. There we go. You know what? I think I need a little bit more right there. Right under the morning. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Smear it around. Smear it around. A bit too much of it there. Oh, forgot the stuff in between the eyes. Got to get that. And ta-da! Look at that. I am the great pumpkin now. It looks terrific. It looks fantastic. Frankly, the very best. Ask anyone. Now you've got this messy orange foundation. Uh, you don't want... You can't just have that. Obviously, you got to cover it up. So I'm going to take... Oh, I forgot to do the thing. Forgot to do the thing. For this, I'm going to use... HD powder by yet another bad Will Ferrell movie. Oh, let me show you. Oh, oh, let me see. Oh, can you see it? Oh, I doubt that's gonna focus. Let me try it this way. Oh, is it? It 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 is a white. It it is powder. It's not white. It's beige. So nothing funny going on here. I'm gonna take this little brush that I got just for this. And I'm going to just dab, 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 dab. And then I'm going to. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. Yeah. Just, oh, it looks like there's a ton of powder going everywhere. But this is very handy. What this does is this kind of uh, prevents this from smearing too much. And it kind of locks it in place. Because now, allegedly, my face is more blended. Oh, don't I look good. L'Oreal Paris's Infallible Pro Matte. Number 100, because I am a pasty boy. Let's just do the dab. Dab, 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 dab. So, you want to dab it on. You don't want to just cake it on. You can. In fact, you probably should. I don't know. Dab a little here, dab a little there. Especially on the nose. You want a lot on the nose. Ah, oh, oh yeah. 
This is what middle aged and crazy looks like, folks. <laughs> We've got enough, I think, on our face. Oh, don't we look swell? Oh, looking good. Looking good. Oh, man, I look fantastic. Oh. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our other little sponge thing. This one's got a little a little flat end on it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So we're going to take this and we're going to use this to, uh, again, smear this stuff all over. To blend it into the skin, if you will. Now, I know I look ridiculous now, but trust me, you haven't seen nothing yet. I'm going to look so ridiculous, the most ridiculous you've ever seen. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. I'm looking pasty. When you're smiling, when you're smiling. <laughs> and yes, I did decide to do this because I do love mugging in front of the camera. I'm going to get a little in my hair. I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm going to cover these eyebrows right up. Just right over. Not even gonna worry about it. The nose, especially, you gotta make sure that you get all the little cracks. All the little nooks and crannies. They're dead giveaways, by the way. They'll definitely give you up. People will be like, you're using makeup. I can tell. Of course, yeah, of course I'm using makeup, for Christ's sakes. You think my complexion looks like this on a normal day? All right, so I'm a little bit more foundedy. Foundedy, I, th I think that's the word. Could use a little bit better blending here. The worst thing about being overweight is just this fucking big neck. It's, it's hard to avoid looking like this all the time. But we do what we can. All right, so now that I've got that situated. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the uh, of the infallible pro mat. Not spawned. Uh, we're gonna add a little bit more just to hopefully even things out a little bit more. We're doing all right. We're almost there folks. We're we're almost there. I like to go with the matte finish uh, because um, I'm told it's better. I don't know. I think it looks a little bit better. I don't really have much to compare to, but I, I'm looking good. All right, so now we're going to take our little spongy ball again. We're going to we're going to just smear just smear it around. The thing that sucks about doing this, folks, is that sponge that I'm rubbing my face with is getting a teensy bit warm from all the friction. So, I kind of have to pace myself with the smearing. Don't want to smear too hard too fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh. Looking like a million dollars. Or at least 25 cents. Three dollars, 25 cents. Three fifty. Three fifty. We'll say I'm, I'm, I'm looking about three fifty right now. It's sort of starting to even out. So, there you have it. Pasty McPasty face. Now, uh, this looks a little bit like I'm dead. I'll give you that. But now we add depth. All right, hands are clean. Uh, let's get into contouring, but before we do that, uh, I'm going to do my eyeliner. Now, this is gonna be a little bit tricky, but we're gonna do this in two stages. So I'm using uh, NYX Professional Makeup Epic Eyeliner uh, Black. Oh ho ho! Look at that! It's it's it's. This is actually really cool. It is a. Uh, it's almost like a little mini sharpie. It uh, it definitely beats poking a pencil into your eye. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the bottom first, and then later I'll do the uh, top. So right now, I'm just going to come in and yum. 
I'll warn you folks, you might see my stupid big head come into frame here because I need to get real close to the mirror for this. Yeah, I don't talk much during this part because it's really tricky. And I've already fucked it up. Alright, naturally, I like to go a little bit further out from the eye. Up towards where, up towards about the point of the eyebrow. And the reason I do that is because I like the winged look. Ah, ha ha ha! Look at that, looks good, huh? Huh? Alright, now's the tricky part, the other eye, because uh, this is my harder to do eye. I'm not very skilled at doing. This eye, I always fuck it up. So let's just see how bad I can fuck this up. too bad. I, uh, I actually did a pretty good job on that one that time, surprisingly. But no, that's kind of what I do. I start with the bottom, and the reason why I do the bottom and then give it some time is because it allows this stuff to dry, because this stuff, uh, it goes on wet. But it dries, and once it dries, it's a little harder to smear. Like I said, it, it's, it's like just having a magic marker. <laughs> you just draw it on. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Way easier than just jabbing a pencil in your eye. Now for the contouring. Now you might ask, uh, what is contouring? Contouring is, uh, oh, it's smoke and mirrors, if you will. What we're going to do is we're going to give the illusion that I'm not just some fat fuck. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this brush. Uh, this is a BS Mall uh, face tapered. And I'm going to use my NYX Professional Makeup Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. Hoo-hoo! NYX. It's, uh, it's the name of a comic uh, that I used to read back in the 2000s. It was pretty interesting. That's why I kind of find it funny that now it's a makeup brand. I'm going to go with probably... Not quite the darkest, not quite the darkest, but maybe this one here. All right, so now I'm going to uh, basically create the illusion that there is a shadow here. See, because that'll kind of make you think that I don't have as big jowls as I, as I actually do. Oh yeah, you can barely see it. All right, I might go with the darker one. Let's go with the... Uh, this one here, the uh, the one that almost looks like a uh, oh a lighter Nutella. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that that you can kind of see. Now I can't tell what you're seeing because my glasses aren't on, and I can't see the little preview camera very well, or preview screen I should say. But I am seeing. Hmm. And then, of course, you want to drag it down the whole neck because the neck should be in shadow anyway. So, if you can't tell here, I don't know if it's showing up well, but you can kind of see there's a little bit more shadow over here now. Now, I'll do it over here. I, uh, I promise nothing, especially when it comes to makeup. But, basically, just go with what looks good, or what, at least what you think looks good. Uh, and I can't see that well out of this eye. Well, I can. It's just... This eye is a little... It's, a, it's the goofier of the two eyes. 
I'll put it that way. It just doesn't see as well as the other. Together, they're fine. It's this, this one is a little... Meh. So, I don't always see things, oh, as clearly as I could out of the other one. I can barely see anything very clearly without my glasses, truth be told. So, for all I know, I look uh, hideous, or at least hideous, more hideous than I normally look. Uh, you can kind of see there's a little bit of a shading thing kind of going on there. It's, um, sorry, I had a burp. <laughs> Very classy. But yeah, that's that's the contouring uh, for, the, for the jowls, if you will, to try to make them look less jowly. I'm going to go with this little bit lighter, the, the stuff that I originally started off with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a fake cheekbone just by doing this. Now, I'm certain there's probably some of you out there that are like, oh my god, you're doing it all wrong. Well, as I used to say with my Let's Grumble uh, videos, uh, if you can do it better, you, you make your own video. You, you'll probably be more... Don't take me as a mark of success, trust me. I mean, for fuck's sakes, I'm, I'm doing video game Let's Plays and, uh... And now I'm doing makeup tutorials. So, not exactly the picture of, of, uh, of success here, folks. Alright, now this looks jank as hell, and I know it does. But, trust me... Trust me, we've only just begun. Oh yeah, there we go. Alright, so, we got that. Next is... <laughs> this is so dumb, but I do it uh, because uh, allegedly it's... Uh, allegedly it works. I, I have my doubts. But... Aha. That's the, this is the brush I'm looking for, something like that. All right, so now I'm going to go with this one here, the almost lightest that there is. And yes, I'm jumping around on the face. I do that a lot. It's because uh, I'm uh, not very good at this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a line straight down my nose of this very, very light stuff. Now, I'm gonna go to the next one over, the lighter, the even lighter, and I'm gonna do just a very light dusting. Damn hair. Very light dusting on that. And then, <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna take this one here, probably the lighter, lightest of the browns, This is so dumb. Uh, all right, so allegedly this makes your nose look a little thinner, and God knows I need help with that. So we're gonna take it and run it just down the side and partially onto the bulb. The big bulbous nose I have. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now I look like a brown noser. All right, that looks jank as hell, and I know it, but, like I said, a lot of this is preliminary stuff. This is the rough outlines, if you will. You consider it like the, uh, the lines under the sketch. Next, I'm going to take the same brush, and I'm going to use a little bit of this stuff here, the, the, the deep tan, and I'm going to... Just do it right in the old bag. Right in the bag under the eye. And I don't know if it's showing up as a little bit less intense, but in the mirror, from what I can see through my pitiful, horrible vision, it does lighten it up a little bit more. And like I said, any help I can get on these stupid bags under my eyes will help. 
Oh, oh, look at that. I look just as ugly as I did 15 seconds ago. So that's that. All right, so next, we are going to use a bit of blush. This is uh, Amuse Ultimate uh, Ultimate Face. I don't know. Uh, I don't even remember where I got my hands on this. I don't know. Uh, it's I'm gonna use this, the blush, essentially, is what I'm using right now. Ah, yeah, yeah, this one, the peach. And it doesn't take much with this. This stuff is actually very potent. So what I'm going to do is just... Paint this just over that line that I painted earlier for the, for the fake cheekbone. And yeah, I, it, it looks... I look like a whore right now. I know. This isn't even its final form. Not even its final form. We're still working on that. We're still working on that. Alright, so uh, now I look like uh, I'm very embarrassed, as I should be. And I'm going to go with this super light white again. And we're going to do what they refer to as the Neapolitan effect where you put a, a light band on top of this uh, on top of this uh, oh peach band and this is supposed to somewhat highlight the top of your cheeks I mean does it I don't know you decide I don't know if it does uh, I think I look I look terrible let's just face it. let's let's just face facts all right, so the last thing I'm going to probably do is I'm going to take some of this light, or this uh, dark tan again, and I'm going to just right down all over the upper lip. It's mainly just to try to help conceal that fucking five o'clock shadow. Uh, not that it's going to help much, but it might. It might, hey, anything helps, right? <laughs> All right, so that's that. I've got this stuff in. Now, you're probably like, oh, oh that looks terrible. Yeah, it, it does look terrible. Don't get me wrong. Now, we blend it in. Right, and the way I like to do that, especially with these cheeks, is just... Rub down. Just rub downwards. And it should somewhat blend this almost into a natural tone. Not exactly, but it kind of does the trick. Like I said, any little thing to help, really. But this is what we're working with now. So hopefully. This is, a, this is a decent foundation to kind of work off, and we can, oh, maybe pretty this up a little bit more. So for starters, I'm going to take one of these brushes. It's very uh, flat and thin. I don't know if it has a name. No, it doesn't. But it's basically just a very flat, thin brush. I don't know if you can see what I'm working with. I'm certain this won't focus worth a damn. Uh, not going to worry about it. Either way, it's a, it's a flat, thin brush. There's uh, a black color here, and you can really use any black in anything, really. I just, I like using this one because I've used it for a while now. Um, and I'm going to get a little bit on there, and then I'm just going to dust my eyebrows. So, I have uh, eyebrows again. Because the, the foundation kind of covers them up. And uh, this way it doesn't look like you have weird, chalky eyebrows. You know, it kind of fills them back in a bit. But anyway, this is how, this is how we do it. This is, this is very annoying because I'm used to uh, listening to music or something in the background while I'm, I'm doing this. And 
I just, it's, it's dead silence and because I'm recording, it's, it's a little weird. So yeah, there's my eyebrows. Ooh, they look sort of like eyebrows. Uh, next I'm going to, uh, you see this? You see this? A little bump here. Uh, this cancer, apparently. Uh, I, uh, I, I like to cover that up. I mean, hey, we're doing fucking makeup. Why not? I'm going to use, uh, one of these... LA Colors Auto Eyeliner. Uh, it's uh, basically a crayon, a very soft crayon, if you will. And I'm going to just. Boom! Cancer turns into beauty mark. Which is probably just more cancer. Alright, so it's time for eyeshadow. And I'm going to use uh, Changeable Fantasy. Uh, it's a. Uh, makeup palette. Uh, this is mostly for eyeshadow stuff, I think. I don't know. Could be for something else. It could be for watercolors. But it's got like a nice uh, selection here, and I kind of like that. I like to have options. It's got a nice. Uh, it, it almost works like a color palette in a video game, because you've got. I can't. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you've got like it gradients, and then you've got like metallics in there too. So it's, uh, it's very Saints Row-y, if you know what I mean. So what I'm going to do initially is I'm going to take this very fine, or not super fine, but a little bit on the fine side. I'm going to take this brush here, and I'm going to go with a little bit of... <laughs> this is so hard to do in a mirror. Uh, I'm going to go with a little bit of this. This very, this very light, uh, glittery white. And I'm going to just, this doesn't take much, by the way. You just put a little bit right in the corner. Right in the corner. And what that does is that draws attention right to the corner of your eye. It's a, it's a look that I think works well. But I'm just uh, some asshole on the internet. As you can see, I got like just a little. I don't know if you can see it that well, but. We got that going on for us. Next, I'm going to move over to this, this light blue right here. Because I think it's going to look good. And that's all it really comes down to when you're doing this sort of stuff. Does it look good? Do you think it'll look good? I don't know. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I guess today we will find out. So I'm going to just do this with my eye. And I'm going to... Oh, yeah. There we go. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. Now, normally you don't need to run eyeshadow so high into your, into your uh, little uh, lid here. But I have very, very droopy eyelids. So I'm going to make the best of them. I'm going to paint those suckers. A nice vibrant color. So they kind of stick out a little bit. Hmm? Alright, so next I'm probably going to go to this, this purple here. This uh, fuchsia, if you will. I, I always kind of like a little bit of purple when it comes to this stuff. And I think it blends well into blue. So I'm going to take just a little dab and I'm going to just kind of run it across there. And I'm also going to run it into the blue section. So there's a little bit of gradient crossover. Now I'm going to hit the other side. But I tell you, I got to give credit to those people that actually do these makeup tutorials uh, out there. They, whew, this is tricky business, folks. It really is. I mean, I thought playing a video game while being recorded was tricky, but this is this is on a whole other level, really. 
because I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to get a good angle where I can see stuff, and I'm also trying to get a good angle where you can see me. And I'm going to go with a little bit darker right there. Go with that. And we will blend that in because we've got kind of a weird thing going on here. It's not exactly blending the way I was hoping it would. But we will take that. Remember that line I did? Well, we're taking it to that line. See, there is a method to my madness. I know what you're thinking. Uh, why the hell are you doing makeup tutorials? But uh, besides that, you might be thinking, why are you not doing the upper eyelids? Well, that's because I haven't quite gotten there yet. I don't like to do those directly with uh, eyeshadow. I actually like to put a little bit, well actually, just right now what I'm doing is I'm putting a little bit more extra dark purple on the outsides. Uh, this is this is akin to atrocious really. I think uh, I think I might have missed the mark by going blue into purple. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the red and I'm going to blend that over the blue. And what I think this will do is I think this might give a little bit more uniform air, uniformality, but still have a little bit of the lightness I wanted on the end. Uh, doing your makeup is kind of like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Well, especially when you're experimenting like I always do. Oh, look at that. I look terrible. Looks a little bit better, but not by much. And I'm going to take some of this metallic this metallic purple and I'm just gonna kinda go over the whole end the whole top side of this whole thing just to kinda give it a little bit of sparkle and highlight will this be worthwhile? Uh, I don't know, you decide beauty's in the eye of the beholder alright, I think I'm done with the eyeshadow, which I put on a little bit too intensely Let's see if I can somewhat smooth that out. Uh, not very much. Okay. I know one thing I do like to do is I like to take the edge and just do a little bit of this. And that's mainly to kind of give it the smeared look on the edges. Uh, I think that looks nice. Uh, that's because, uh, you know, I have no taste. Alright, next, we're gonna finish up those, uh, those eyelids with the eyeliner. That's right, I'm gonna use eyeliner for the whole upper lid. Now, is this a tremendous waste of eyeliner? Yeah, it kind of is, but honestly, it, it looks better than if you just do it in black, in my opinion. So I'm going to take my, uh, my marker eyeliner by NYX, Epic Eyeliner, ep ep Epic Ink Liner, my mistake, Ooh. and I'm going to hold my eye and just start going to town. Just going to draw a line right across. Try to get it to meet up with that other line, all right? So you can kind of see what I've got there. And now, we just fill it all in. It's like, uh, it's like coloring. You just keep it in the lines. Oh, looks like I have no eye. Here we go. All right, so, next thing I'll do is I'll go like this, just to make sure. All right, there's a little bit of smearing. Maybe just touch that up a bit, and yeah, okay, it looks okay, I mean, for me. Alright, so now the tricky part, the other eye, because I always fuck this up, but who knows, sometimes I get it right. Oh, I don't screw it up. What really sucks about this is 
I always manage to get these goofy skin tags right on my eyelid. Right where I really can't do much about them. Alright, well... Yeah, I think that looks good. I mean, for me, just touch up the underside. A little bit now. And maybe, oh, there we go. And now, yeah. All right, that's, uh, I got my eyes. Uh, I got my shadow all done. I don't know if you guys can see it, but, mm, eh, it's actually probably one of, it's not my worst work. I, I would say that's actually not too bad. I think it looks okay. Oh yeah, the lips. We're gonna do the lips now. All right, so we're gonna, this, this sounds a little silly, but I got this tip from someone that instead of doing your lip liner last, you do it first. And you kind of use that as a template for when you actually do your lipstick. So I'm going to do that. And honestly, I don't know if this really makes it much of I can't talk while I'm doing this, sorry folks. All right, so. You just draw out doing a Russ Ventriloquist impersonation here. Alright, so now that I've done this, I can kind of use it to see if I've got some symmetry and I kind of am lacking a little bit in this corner. There we go. There, that's. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more symmetrical. So, that's kind of the advantage of using the lip liner first, is you kind of use it as a guide. So, I'm going to use a brand new uh, tube of lipstick. Never used this before. It is Revlon. Oh, Revlon. Um, electric Melon. Well, that sounds fun, doesn't it? Alright, so let's just see how this goes on. Normally I use a uh, paint-on, but we're going to use this instead. Actually, I'm kind of liking the shade. It's not horrible. As far as tips for putting on makeup, I mean, what can I tell you? It's just, it's just trial and error. Besides, for all I know, I'm doing it wrong. Man, this lipstick is terrible. I, I yeah, with this Revlon, I would not recommend it. It's not exactly ideal, folks. It's just, mmm. I don't know, what do you think? I, I think I, I, mm, I don't know. <laughs> it's not looking good. Maybe I can salvage this with a little bit of, uh, with a little bit of lip gloss. No promises on that, but. No, oh, by the way, this is uh, NYX Professional Makeup. It's, uh, you got your lipstick over here, you got your lip gloss over here. Very tricky stuff. If you take it off upside down, it makes a huge mess. I don't know if I'd exactly recommend it. But, oh, you got a little paintbrush with it. That's nice. Put on my lip gloss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, eh. Looks a little bit better. I don't know if I'm exactly impressed. That's, uh, that's, that's the makeup. Now, to complete the look. And abracadabra, just like that, I have hair. Now this is a this is a wig. It's a, it's not a very pricey wig, 
but uh, I think it gets the job done. It covers up this, and that's 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 what matters. So, anyways, uh, that's uh, that's my makeup tutorial. That's uh, that's the first episode of Let's Fabulous. Um, I hope you learned something. I hope you gained something from this. I hope you're looking forward to the new pivot we're trying to do with the new videos. Uh, no doubt we're going to break into the makeup tutorial market. We're going to be making those dowry dues. Finally, I can I can get off the night shift. And uh, yeah, I mean, hey, look, look at this. I mean, I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I'm ready to go out on the town, have myself a good old day, you know, let's go down to the Chick-fil-A, get ourselves a face sandwich, eh? I'm just kidding, I'm not going to the Chick-fil-A, I'm pretty certain they're not open this time of night anyway. Anyway, uh, I'm probably just going to go play some video games now, and uh, do my thing. Uh, wait, yeah, that's right, we don't do that now. Um, well, uh, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good day, and uh, happy April Fool's Day. Ha ha ha!